Well, the day is here where we are getting this removed. Goodbye to gas, goodbye to our gas meter. Oh, it smells a bit gassy. Oh, good thing they're coming out. I don't know, maybe it always smells like that when you open the gas meter cupboard. Why are we having it disconnected? Well, we don't want to have to be reliant on um, gas for anything, so we switch to a heat pump, we're removing our gas hob in favour of an induction hob and uh, we don't want to be paying the £100 a year standing charge for a fossil fuel that we're not going to use. So goodbye to this gas meter and I will show you how it goes and I'll show you how we manage to get this removed without paying any fees as some of the energy providers were indicating quite a hefty charge. Well, let's have a look then. The meter guy couldn't have been here for more than two, three minutes at push. Mm. Well, that's it. Capped off. Meter's gone. And what do we do with that empty box? Sure, we could stuff something in there. Just maybe not too close to the uh, gas valve. Anyway, as easy as that. As I say, he was here for two to three minutes maximum well the new induction hole better show up quickly because now we're all cut off that's it I've taken the meter I've capped it off we're done on gas bye to terrible cleaning and the gas hob overheating the kitchen area and just buy to burning fossil fuels. So what are the regs then on me taking this gas hob out by myself, seeing as we don't have any gas in the building anymore? It's completely capped off, there's no meter, and give it a test. I need to disconnect or unplug the power, the plug for that. So I've got the little gas isolator valve there, and it looks fairly simple hopefully once I lift this up I'll be able to get access down there get a spanner on there and undo the gas so um, answers on a postcard can I remove this gas hob by myself as a competent but not certified uh, individual or should I be leaving well alone just because it is a gas appliance let me know. Well, that's what it looks like with the gas hob cooker gone. And uh, that's after a quick little bit of a clean up because it's surprising how much grime kind of seeps under those edges and gets underneath there somehow. Some miracle, even with it fastened down securely. Anyway, it's out. And next job is to mark out the granite worktop and I need to trim that a little to fit the new hob. Luckily for us, the electrician, this is the this was only for the old ignition. This just goes down to a three pin plug. But luckily for us, the electrician has already checked and confirmed that we've got a, uh, I think he said it was a six mil feed dedicated cable coming into the cooker point. And so we just need to get a cable across the back of these cabinets up to here so the electrician can then hook up the induction hob and connect it into our dedicated cooker point and maybe you'll get a bit of footage of me attempting to cut a granite worktop that should be a laugh all right i've taped off the line that i want to cut with duct tape so hopefully that's a good idea probably get some of those bubbles out there before we're ready to go and got my trusty diamond tip blade that I'm sure is going to do better than some of these uh, small cutting discs these are brilliant for cutting through metal and stuff like that but I'm sure they're not going to be very good with granite so we'll have a go with a diamond tipped blade even though this one is looking a bit worse for wear so that might not be great but it's all I've got with me at the moment um, can't find my mains angle grinder so we've got the old 18 volt one on charge which I'm sure is gonna do the job just fine so 
So let's let that battery get fully charged. I'll swap that disc over. And then I'm not sure what the best way forward is. Is it to try and wet it down with a spray bottle or is it going to be better to do some dust extraction with a vacuum cleaner? Hmm. Or both. Hmm. We'll have a little go, I think. We don't want to cover the whole house in granite dust. This may well be the stupidest idea ever, but I've sealed up where I'm going to cut to try and stop the dust going into the rest of the room. I'm about to whack the extractor on full, and then clearly I'm not so stupid that I wouldn't wear a mask over my face as well, and I'm going to go for it. Let's wish me luck, I guess. Well, that's it. Need a little tidy up, but it's in. Pop it on, and we got the quick knobs. Tell us which rings on with the light. Nice and easy. Less of the touch screen or touch sensitive button madness that we had on our last induction hub. But that's it, no more gas. After all that, here's a quick rundown of how we actually managed to get this done with very little cost obviously the induction hob is a cost to change but uh, no charge for removing the meter and stopping the standard charges as you can see back on the 9th of november i started the ball rolling by sending a message to my energy supplier who was utility warehouse and they uh, just got the automated reply um, next i got why is it not moving there we go <laughs> Um, got a reply uh, same day telling me that they had me as a tenant on their system which wasn't helpful to me they said that they wouldn't remove the meter because they didn't believe I owned the property so I assured them I did and they said okay but uh, thanks for confirming you own it but where's the proof so I had to supply a letter from my solicitor from when we bought the house confirming the completion which seemed ridiculous but I guess they have a reason for it and they I'm sure they've been in some sticky situations in the past where tenants may have instructed them to do similar things and landlords were not happy with it so uh, anyway I don't understand exactly why they would do that this uh, was um, uh, oh yeah so they just sent me an email saying thanks, we've updated the account to show homeowner status. I'm like, okay, great, but that wasn't the point of contacting you. So then they replied back again and they said, well, they charged the fee of £69, but um, in, oh, have I, I've skipped an email. Oh, great, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't grabbed a screenshot from it. Um, but they were still not happy to, go ahead with removing the meter until we'd uh, until we contacted the GNO the gas network operator as they'd kind of outlined in one of the first ones here you go the gas transporter is south southeast of England SSE SSEE is it I don't know SSE I can't remember um, but basically they said that they would have to uh, contact them and standing charges would only be removed until SSE had done a full disconnection um, which I was a bit dubious about as I'd seen on some of the heat pump forums and in some of the groups on Facebook that quite a few people had had this work done either at no cost or with very little cost and so I'd presumed okay £69 to remove the meter you know fair enough nothing in life is free but it seemed like um, there wasn't a consistent approach um, with many other people not having to get in touch with their GNO so I started doing a little bit more research and uh, it pointed me towards Octopus and it seemed as if Octopus were doing this service for free so I jumped onto Octopus and left Utility Warehouse um, which uh, I couldn't do a while back because of the crazy uh, energy prices, the market fluctuation. Octopus weren't taking on new customers when we moved into this property. So um, we were with Utility Warehouse and luckily they were below the 
market capped rate so we still had a reasonable rate but we were keen to move back onto octopus um, as we'd previously been at our last house so um, I finally this is uh, the 2nd of December so you can see that my original message went out on the 9th of November but in between that we had to change suppliers and had to wait until that had uh, migrated until we could uh, move but then the first reply came back from octopus and it was the same as U uw contact your gas network operator directly they will be able to arrange the gas capping for you um and i was like oh great we're back to the drawing board so i fired back another email persisting and uh they apologized for the confusion what i did learn was don't ask for your gas to be capped just ask for the gas meter to be removed it's for me as a layman it seems like it's the same thing i'm asking for the same thing because they put a cap on the gas line when they remove the meter but for some reason that lingo doesn't work with these people so just be specific and just ask for the gas meter to be removed and don't mention the the gas supply being capped so anyway this was quick uh, backwards and forwards that was on monday the 4th of december as you can see then on thursday the 7th of december um, they confirmed that i'd been booked in and the book it had been booked in for the 13th of december so only a few days away from that and some of the you know usual things have an adult at home etc 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 um and uh that was it the engineer came on the 13th of december and as you've seen earlier in the video he was here for one to two minutes and uh that was it he was in and out in a flash and the meter was gone and the very same day it had registered on octopus energy system that i no longer had a gas meter and the standing charges were stopped that very same day and about a week or so later they sent me the final bill for gas which we'd already migrated onto the heat pump so it was it was something ridiculous like one pound 68 that we'd we'd used for a little bit of cooking on the gas hob so that's my story of how we had the gas meter removed removed our reliance on gas on a fossil fuel and long term we'll save money of course the initial investment was um, in an induction hub which we do prefer for several reasons not least of which is burning gas in the home which is not great for the particulate levels if you've got some I can't remember if it was PM5 or PM2.5. If you've got some of those meters in your kitchen, you'll see a significant uptick if you're using gas to cook. But I hope there's been some information in here that's been helpful for you and maybe it's just inspired you to take that jump. I see that there's quite a few people out there with heat pumps that are still cooking on gas hobs. And that's fine. Everyone can make their own decision on things, but uh, quite a few people are seemingly... Uh, looking at that as too much of a difficult barrier and I actually found of all the things cutting off the gas supply getting rid of the gas hob so, so much easier than the whole process of getting the air source heat pump uh, installed and getting everything correct there so anyway uh, you'll see me in the next video